Oh, they say Nick's gonna win. Okay. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. First test trend with the 212 guys. Apparently, everyone wants to switch to open bodybuilding in the future. It started with Hadi Chopin, then Derek Lansford, Sean Kamal, and now even Kion Pearson has talked about the possibility of switching to open bodybuilding after he wins the Mr. Olympia in the 212. Only one person rivals Derek Lansford when it comes to La to waist ratio, and that's none other than Kion. I think from the front, he is like a mini version of Derek Lansford. But from the back, he needs a lot of work if he wants to win the 212 title. So Kion and his coach Patrick are really pushing the limits this year. Last year, when he gets posed with Martin, who is an open bodybuilder, he only weighed 220 pounds. But the illusion he is able to create on stage is just so damn crazy that he looked bigger than Martin. So right this moment, when the off-season has just begun, Kion is already pushing beyond 220 pounds. So if Kion ever decides to switch from the 212 to the open, we will get to see him compete somewhere around 215 to 220 pounds. And that will be a great sight to see. Andrew Jack did not back down from the challenge of diet and training. All the athletes who have worked with Chris Asito stated that Chris Asito makes you suffer with the low carbs. And on top of that, Andrew is training 7 days per week. No rest whatsoever. And we did saw a glimpse of how hard they pushed when it came to the training. So, Andrew took on this challenge and he will finish this prep on a high note. Cycle Fitness, his trainer, once again said that it's not the hype. The Andrew Jagged we are about to witness in less than one week. There will be a night and day difference from what we saw at the Olympia last year. Uh, he's made great improvements in the posing and the conditioning. And I'm saying the guy is actually bigger. He's actually going to be bigger. He's going to be bigger and harder. And you're going to see that back and those hamstrings look a lot, a lot, lot better. Everyone wants to see a better back, better hamstrings and rib glutes. And that is exactly what they're bringing to the table, according to their team. I really love the expression of Psycho Fitness when he said that Nick Walker is gonna win. By the way, he obviously means Matt Jensen and people around Nick Walker. And I, I was trying to get him to give his top five, and he just gave me, he said, uh, oh, they say Nick's gonna win. Okay. 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 So... I'm, I'm very pumped up. And Matt himself said that ever since Nick Walker turned pro, they have not pushed this hard. More quad sweep is what Nick Walker needs to be a lot more dangerous on the Olympia stage. I guess we will have to wait and see how the offseason goes post Arnold Classic. Nick is looking dry, he is depleted, and the look will drastically change when those carbs finally hit him. So if Nick Walker actually wins this thing, he will carry a huge momentum going into this year's Olympia. And he will definitely be considered a favorite to win the show. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.